is up. want to uh, listen then feel free to do that as well um, so let's get started James chapter 1 James a servant of God James a bond servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greetings my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may Wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will not be given to him. Let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for you doubt is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For now, let not that man suppose that he will receive any from the Lord. He is a double minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation in his humiliation, because as a flower of the field he will pass away, for no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat, than it withers the grass, its flower falls, and its beautiful appearance perishes, so the rich man also will fade away in his pursuits. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say, with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls verse 22 but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror for he observes himself goes away and immediately forgets what kind of a man he was but he who looks in the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer doer of work this one will be blessed in what he does if anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart this one's religion is useless pure and undefiled religion before the god and father is this to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world chapter two Who love him. 
but you have dishonored the poor man. Do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts? Do they not blaspheme the noble name by which you were called? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well, but if you show partiality, you commit sin and are not convicted by the laws as transgressors. an unruly evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the uh, similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not be so. Does the spring send forth flesh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness and wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. For where envy and self seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Chapter 4. How can you get close to God? Verse 1. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your own desires for pleasure, that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight a war. 
because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures, adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know that a friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy? Verse 6, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you devil-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy. Who are you to judge one another? Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city. Spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time, and then vanishes away. Verse 15, instead you ought to stay. If the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to him who knows to do good, does not do it. To him it is sin. Chapter 5 But above all, my brethren, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or with any other oath, but let your yes be yes, and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him.
was written in 8049. Um, this is a really good book. I like how he kind of just calls people out, like when he just straight out said, like, don't swear and um, things like that. So um, I'm going to read um, chapter 1, verses 22 through 24 again, because I think it's really good. Good.